We have way too much fun, for the record. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite interviews are always the ones that start with just us laughing because we're always goofing around off air. Mm-hmm. And it just so happens, just so happens, that it's time, once again, it's that time to check in with our friends from Blush Exotic, 9th Street downtown. BlushExotic.com is the website. The Ultimate Gentleman's Club. Blush Exotic. And I, I mentioned having fun during our interviews because... My guest here is, she's no stranger. She's come to visit us before. And every time, we have a ball when Abigail Mack is here. Oh. Because Abigail's awesome. We always have fun with her. Thank you. And uh, we had to, now we, we got to rewind here maybe about a month or so. Because we had, Romy Rain was in town. She came to visit. Mm-hmm. And you were the topic of discussion for quite a lot of the she conversation. She pick on me. Why is she picking on me all the time? I, I don't, I think she's the one, because any group of friends is always the one that's the aggressor. Yes. Yeah, it looks like that's Romy. In certain situations, for sure, um, she likes to make me jump in ice cold water and do things <laughs> I don't want to do. She keeps on telling me, she's like, you have to go skydiving. I'm like, absolutely not. I'm like, no, um, I don't fly. I don't have wings. I'm not a bird. I don't want to jump out of a plane. And she's like, it'll be fine. I'm like, no, that's just not an exciting experience She, she for really me. tried to get you to skydive. Yeah, she still is. She's she crazy. still texts me and she's like, Oh, we're going to we're going to go skydiving. I'm like, "No, we're not." Like, I will watch you. I'll push you out of the plane and be like, "Bye." But no, I'm not doing that. Like, I will see you on the ground one yeah. way or another. Mm-mm, nope. I'm like, "We can go on a roller coaster. That's fine." But I'm not jumping out of the plane. You crazy. No. <laughs> now, now this is worth mentioning. You just got in town what? Maybe a couple days ago yesterday? Yesterday. Just got here yesterday. yesterday. Had your first show last night, Thursday mm-hmm. night. At Blush, how was your first night? It was amazing. But when I come to Blush, I feel like since this is my third time, yeah, this is my third time here, that I go in and I know everybody now. And like a lot of people who live in the area, like I know their names too. So it's kind of like coming to like a high school reunion or something. You like hang with friends. You just hang with friends. You're like, hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, haven't seen you in six months. So it's really nice to come back and just really feel at home somewhere, you know? I I think that's partially because of the folks that come out to see you. And I think that's partially because of you too, because you're just that cool. Oh, I think that's a part of it. Because they obviously want to come back and hang out with you because you're that awesome. So don't, you know, don't, don't just push all the credit on them. Some of it goes towards you. I think that the credit goes to the East Coast, especially Pittsburgh, because people are fucking awesome here. <laughs> we, we do love you here on the East Coast. We Aww. love you here in Pittsburgh. Well, I'm from the East Coast. I'm East Coast girl in the West Coast world. See? Mm-hmm. Not everybody can be as cool as us, right? That's true. Exactly. That's very true. And we love you here at Trib Live Radio. We don't want to leave that part out. Trib Live Radio is the shiznit. We love you. Now, <laughs> Now, since the last time we hung out, it's been, what, six months? Since the last I time think it's been about six months, yeah. You, you've been busy because last time I talked to you was about you had just come back from the AVN party. You were telling me the story about you and Abigail jumping into, I mean, you and Romy jumping into the pool. Mm-hmm. But since then, you, you've been back out in Vegas doing the award circuit. Yes. You've been a little busy. I've Bring a little hardware busy. to put on the mantle. Break it yes. down for us. Well, my life is busy. Since I decided to get in the industry, it's kind of just been like, where are four years gone? You know? I mean, just, it's been a wild, wild ride. I'm super happy that... I've been able to be very successful in my career. Um, So after AVN happened, I brought home two awards, which is awesome. Excellent. I brought home best boy girl sex scene and best solo tease at AVN. That's why she's the great. That's why that's why she's here. Only the best at Blush Exotic. I tell everybody that. Mm -hmm. Ninth Street downtown. Check her out all weekend. uh, I was really excited to see my scene was for Black.com with Flash Brown, and it didn't win best IR boy girl scene. It just won best boy girl scene, which I thought was pretty epic and pretty awesome. So it's like the general. It's the general. It's everybody. So that I was very. Very happy to see. It's always better when you win the, the more broad type stuff. You don't want to be just put in the one box. And I don't think things should be put in a box at that. You know, also, it's just like, you know what? There were two amazing people came together in the right moment, and it just was magical. And so I was really happy. Amazing people coming together in the right moment do amazing things. Do amazing things. Write How that down. How many times can we say amazing in a sentence? Write a that down. It, 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 it could be an amazing feat if you do it. That's true. But write down that quote. You'll need that later on. Because remember, 
Abigail Max Amazing, and she's here all weekend. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. <laughs> <laughs> she's here all weekend at Blush Exotic, Ninth Street downtown. So, what you been up to maybe in the past few weeks? I know you've been moving around because, like you say, you've been busy. I know you travel a ton. So, where I you been? I travel a lot. Um, last month, I took off from traveling because I have been traveling so much. But this week, I'm here. Um, next week, I'm in Houston. The week after that, I'm in New York. And then I'll be in Vegas as well a couple times this month. So, I'm like, that's my month this month. And then I go home and and I think I'm shooting every single day when I'm home. So I don't have a day off until like, I don't know, maybe like two months from now. I'm actually taking a rare long weekend off or like, cause I have two different jobs, but I'm you actually not working. Either I'm taking a long weekend. Going to Vegas next weekend with some friends. So nice. Be, be good to get a little trip away. I might be in Vegas. Oh, not next weekend. I'll be in Vegas next week. Nah. We'll just miss each other. Yeah, ships but we're here, in the night. we're here with each other now. That's the important part. Yes. You have to live in the present, live in yes. the moment. It's an mm-hmm. important thing. So mm-hmm. that's awesome. Now, I, I have to ask you this because every time you have you here, you got a great mm-hmm. story for us. Okay. I need a, I need a good you and Romy story. A good me and Romy story. Gosh, there's a lot. Tastefully a lot within stories. reason. <laughs> can't get too can't get too graphic here. Well, Romy, I, to be honest, we're usually very very boring. Like, I mean, like <laughs> she I, did say she's boring. She no, did I'm super that. boring as well. Like, it's not boring, but we're very normal people, and I think that's why we get along so well. It's like usually, like, hey, you want to go do Pilates and get a smoothie? I'm like, yeah, let's do that. So we're usually <laughs> going and like we'll like do Pilates or do a spin class or something. We like to get our fitness in, and then we'll go out to lunch, and then we'll have a couple cocktails and shoot the shit for a little while. You know. Um, I do have kind of an embarrassing good story about Romy, though, that we're going to dish on. So we're in Vegas and I'm like, okay. And she really wanted to like go to the pool and hang out. And so we went and got a cabana at, I forget the hotel, but it was a nice little pool party and everything. We're drinking for a good four or five hours, you know, in the sun. That's a lot of getting it in. Yeah, we were getting it in. We weren't like too wasted because it was over a long span of time, but we're having fun, starting hitting on the cabana girls because, you know, they got that big booty. Like all the cabana girls in Vegas have this big round booties and like the perfect bodies. We're like, hey, girl, like you can come in the cabana with us. She's like, no, I can't. Like I'll get fired. We're like, it's okay. It's fine. Um, And so afterwards we're leaving and there's these like two like really older like when I say older like 75 plus guys that are like following us around like trying to hit on us and stuff we're like no like we're okay we're just hanging out wow. we're having our girl time little old creeper action and so we're kind of drunk and there's like these beautiful marble stairs that you have to get up to get back into the hotel I'm like Romy I'll raise you up the stairs I'm like running we're running flip flops drunk I'm running running chasing her neck and neck boom she goes down like down hard I'm like oh <gasps> Oh shit, I pick her up. She's like, she really hurt herself too. Oh. But she just ate this shit on marble floors. <laughs> and then I felt super terrible. And we took her back and then I nursed her back to health. I gave it, got her like frozen peas oh. and yeah, I got her some cookies. That was very friendly of you. Yeah, you know, I gave her, I gave her a little motherly love after that. But did I kind of like wounded friends because you can take advantage of them. Did she tell you she hated you after she fell? I'm sure she did. <laughs> yeah, she's like, this is your idea. This is your idea. This this is why I fell. Never hanging out with you again. No, it was good. At least she had some drinks in her, so she was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah she's all right. And she's a tough cookie, so, like, nothing phases her. Oh, yeah, she's she's badass. And you know when she falls, she's like, oh, and then she, like, flips her hair back. She's like, oh, I'm falling, you know? She's very cool. Oh, I fell over again. Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over. Oh, I fell over Oh, I fell again. over again. Oh, I've injured myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's her. In a so nutshell. that's her hating me and then the pool story is me hating her <laughs> so all, that time i was the instigator the it's all cyclical her. it's all cyclical yes see now i can actually take that back to her she says see, see i don't always start it i'm not always the one that gets this in trouble see sometimes it is you that's too. true well i didn't get myself in trouble i just got her in trouble it, that's part of your awesomeness though <laughs> that's true clearly, clearly yeah. part of your awesomeness but yeah i think it was just the six-year-old us like i'm gonna race you up the stairs and get away from these creepers that are staring at our asses yeah, yeah, that's a good reason I'm running from creepers. Yeah, like it's okay to stare at someone's ass, but don't be like, <sighs> I'm going to follow you and keep staring yeah, at you. Yeah, it was like really, like, really noticeably creepy. Heads up, creepers. No creeping on Abigail Mack at Blush You Exotic. can creep, just be like cool about it. Yeah, you know? be, keep the creeping to a minimum. Like, don't keep it to like a dull roar. Rubbing your butthole and like breathing heavy or something. No, that doesn't yeah, work. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, that that's for her to do. That's not for you to do. Yeah. 
Exactly. Blush doesn't let me rub my butthole. Not like in on stage. But when I go back to my dressing room, they said I can rub my butthole as long as I want to. I mean, it's in the privacy of your own, you know, dressing yeah, room. Yeah, right? so that's I have to stimulate. I have to stimulate before. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, so, so when that I go on stage, is the, that's the difference. That's the yeah. Trick. Everybody's like, "Wow, that butthole is stimulated." <laughs> yeah, it is. It is so stimulated. We appreciate it. Fall out under things I did not expect to hear. Oh, I'm sorry. When I woke up this morning, this is a radio show. My bad. <laughs> did not expect to hear that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rule number one with Abigail Mac: expect the unexpected. That, expect stimulated buttholes and, and expect awesomeness that awesomeness too and amazingness <laughs> blush exotic ninth street downtown abigail mac josh taylor trib live radio